all right hello everyone and peace of Christ all of you please invite your friends and if you are a Muslim envoy invite your four wives and your four mother-in-law and your 60 kids uh, today our topic is about what they call uh, human fraternity meeting hmm. uh, just before we start I don't want to see any comment against the Catholic or against the Protestant or against the Orthodox etc because here we expose lies we are not exposing the believers so when we say the Pope I don't mean the Catholic when I say the Orthodox leaders I don't mean the Orthodox when I say the Jews or even the Hindus I don't even mean the Hindus I mean the leaders who they are attending there so just to make it clear anyone he will use a bad language or he will start saying lies I will ban you you see the meeting called it's supposedly about teaching terrence I don't tolerate lies it doesn't matter who say it so if you want to join the liars I will ban you now as we see in the front of us on the screen <clears throat> Dubai lunch a big conference and they invited leaders from around the earth and those leaders maybe the most famous ones and people they focus on them is the Pope but he is just one of many there is Jews there's a Christian Orthodox there is a Protestant there is there is there is but for sure always the spot of light will focus in the important ones and the rest is just like ants to you know to make the conference look better it's like an open buffet and we have to put some carrot but everybody want to grab you know the coconut so if we look in this uh, the propaganda they will show us that uh, United Arab Emirates is, is a country who always supports human rights as an example here we see uh, Nelson Mandela but Imarat is was major of countries until now who own slaves and actually just a few years ago they used to have children's they buy them from Thailand and Nepal for uh, 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 for camel racing the whole thing is nothing but a propaganda for the royal family of uh, Dubai and for Islam and those leaders who came there we call them Christian leaders and I hear I put between two brackets they are doing a big favor to Islam <clears throat> because this is what will happen Whoever watch this, he will believe that really Muslims are people of tolerance, and it must be true. Look, we are inviting Christian leaders, Jewish leaders, Hindu leaders, coming from everywhere, and everybody making his peace. And you know, they respect you, they welcome you, and not only that, they will say to you in Dubai, there's many churches, and this is true. But what they will not say to you that in Dubai, if you mention anything about the prophet you will disappear if you are a muslim who is apostate you will be killed immediately even if you are an atheist not necessarily someone he became a christian or became a whatever if you announce that you are an atheist it is you know the punishment is jail and you will disappear so all this garbage in the front of us is a shame whoever being involved in it is bringing shame to himself not to the Catholic not to the Orthodox not to the Hindus they are shameful people and they are disgrace for whatever they belong or they present nothing here but a lie the ruler of Dubai Zaid tolerance pledge pledge number one uphold the duty of tolerance take firm stand against hate and unjust injustice i mean this is the most stupid thing ever i heard in a country where if somebody make a post in a twitter he disappear and yet they are talking about injustice and hate and what is hate if you say muhammad is a false prophet you are a person of hate if you a person who says I am an atheist I don't want to believe in God you are a person of hate 
if you are a person who says that the prince is not just and his family are corrupt you are a person of hate and you will disappear not only you will be in jail even nobody can find you in jail the prince of dubai he want to do his part in peace but the war in yemen was going already for more than three years and tens of thousands of a children's they die in Yemen just because they are Shia if you cannot be good to your own people who they are Muslims like you just because they are Shia and you have no problem to slaughter them by your bombs which you buy from USA and England and France with no shame they are saying it to you and then you speak to us about justice and dialogue and you are against war live in harmony with my community what community is that all the Gulf countries there is only one kind of communities there is masters and there is slaves if you are an Indian or a Filipino or from a poor country they will give you a house in where you live like you know I don't know they, they put you in shelves what community what justice what about the salary what about a human respect what about treating people as a, as a human they treat you as a slave go and see what they do in Qatar go and see what they do in Saudi Arabia they bring girls from Philippines and they rape them the second day how in the world somebody he present any church the Catholic Church or the Orthodox Church or the Protestant Church can share in such an agenda and propaganda it's a shame are we going to sign an agreement that from now on I can convert to Christianity or somebody you want to leave a Christianity he is a free for sure if you want to leave a Christianity you are more than welcome actually there is a website this is an official government website of United Arab Emirates and guess what guess what the guide how to convert to Islam <laughs> they spend billions of dollars as part of their budget to convert to Islam and this is what this is about they want to make Islam as a religion of tolerance to try to erase the image of what Islamic State uh, Al-Qaeda Boko Haram they are doing every day and they will say no this is the true Islam we are the true Muslims now where we can find the tolerance of Islam in the teaching of Islam are you the Prince of uh, Dubai going to erase the pages from the Quran where it says kill the Christians and the Jews are you going to erase all the phrases and teaching of hate in the cult of Islam are you going to make Allah to say if somebody want to be an atheist he is a free what this conference is about this is why I called my video the Pope the Protestant the Orthodox the Hindus the Jews are doing shopping in Dubai you see I want to ask everybody and I want everybody to be honest with me if this conference decide to do it in Ghana how many of those people will go nobody money my friend bring everybody Arab Christian leaders who I call them big big hypocrites our Christian brothers and sisters in the Middle East are slaughtered discriminated they took our churches they took our land and then they attend a conference about tolerance and what we are the one who will sign the agreement of tolerance as if we are the one who discriminate them you know what I mean somebody says let me show you this comment uh, the ruler of Dubai is turn, is truly turned toward religion. There are churches and temples. It's my friend. They, 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 you see, this is the false. This is the fallacy. This is how they fool you. I challenge you to go to Dubai and say Muhammad is a false prophet. I challenge you to go to Dubai and say I am an ex-Muslim and post that in your Twitter. 
what terms you are talking about this is hypocrisy those are already Christians so you allow them to go inside that a hole and say okay pray, pray to your God there because they need you anyway all of Dubai is based on tourism and foreigners this is not because they are tolerant that's because they are smart but can you if you are an ex-muslim say I am an ex-muslim can you post go and see how many people arrested just last year and many of them they are sentenced to 10 or to 15 years just because they made a post in a Twitter don't fool yourself having a church open is not a tolerance it is a deception because real tolerance is let everybody believe in whatever he want what about we make a change the law of apostasy if they are people of tolerance can they do that somebody saying i believe that the pope is doing hope for peace my friend you can do hope as much as you want but you don't shake hands with the devil how you shake hands with the people there right now as we speak they are bombing yemen and they are arming terrorists in syria hypocrisy a lie stupidity and they use you the whole fact is they are using the name of the christian leaders to make islam look better and to look in, to make emirat and the prince of emirat better and not only that they will make billions of this because now more people they will come to dubai and they will say see here we go this is a place this is a perfect place for us let us do shopping again and again actually already they made billions because many people they are flying as we speak to attend such an occasion and say at the same time we do shopping so let us let us make it simple I am a Christian leader I go to Dubai and I shake hands with those who they are slaughtering the Christians jailing them persecute them if they are Muslims who left Islam this is the situation in Dubai and I challenge anyone to say to me it's not true when you say hope for peace and I I shake hands with the one who will arrest somebody convert to Christianity or he want to be a Hindu or he want to be an atheist what hope for peace is that you are giving a permission for this person to do more crimes because you just approved him so either we say okay let us sign a tolerance agreement anyone can believe in whatever he wish can you do that if somebody want to be an atheist let him be an atheist if somebody want to be Christian want to be a Muslim want to be a Hindu if somebody want to worship a, a Barbie can you let him do that they will say no so what this meeting is about what this meeting is about 13 countries where if you are an atheist the punishment is death what is the name of those countries Afghanistan Iran Malaysia Maldives uh, Mor Mauritania Nigeria Pakistan Qatar Saudi Arabia Somalia Sudan United Arab Emirates and Yemen and actually the list is not completed so what those people are talking about the punishment is death if you are an atheist you did not kill somebody you did not rape somebody you are a person who don't want to believe in God the punishment is death do you see it so what terms they are talking about Mauritania Mauritania is the biggest slavery country in the world more than 80% of the population of Mauritania are slaves
we are not against tyrants absolutely not we are christians jesus he said uh, you know uh, like a uh, blessed those who spread peace but this is not peace this is a piece of garbage this is hypocrisy if you can bring me an agreement which is going to be practiced as a law that somebody in Dubai he can leave his religion and be whatever he want then I will believe you then I will say there's a benefit of such a conference all what I see in this conference is people go in there and their their pocket will be filled up with gifts which is money you know they will not bribe those uh, leaders the Hindu leaders and the Jewish leaders by giving a check you know it might be too much exposed so what we will do we will give them expensive gifts if this conference decided to do to be done in a country in Africa poor country how many of them they will go there nobody will go there money my friend you see what money can do this is not a conference for peace this is an official usa website the state department in march the government established federal public prosecution for information technology crime in abu dubai to investigate a criminal case involving use of information technology including the use of internet with the intent to damage public moral, the promotion of sinful behavior, insult to Islam and God. So if I go to Dubai, the Prince of Dubai, he will be waiting for me and he have a saw in his hand and he will cut me pieces because I insult Islam. Am I lying? Am I lying? Anyone can prove me wrong? What will happen to Christian Prince if he say, if he go to Dubai and he say, I am a Christian Prince? So what this agreement is about? It's a lie. It's a lie and it is a hypocrisy. The country two internet service provider, both linked to the government, use a proxy server to block materials, demand or deemed, uh, etc. Blah, 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 blah. And then it says, read carefully with me here. Uh, they are watching you 24 hours and negative criticizing to Islam is a crime. A Muslim who convert to Christianity is a crime. It is the same as illegal drugs, the same as a person who is doing whatever like illegal thing. It's a wicked crime. This is the country we are going there and we are shaking hands with them and we take we are taking pictures. And as you see, I will show you in the website here. This is an official website. You will see that the one who they are sharing in this crime, they are from all Christian sect and all religion. Hindus, Buddhas, Jews, I mean you name it. Every liar. This is a Coptic priest. You see him? This is the Coptic bishop, actually. All kind of hypocrite. This is a Hindu one. Look at the Hindu guy. He was a chanting in Dubai. Hmm? It's a conference of liars. Hindu, Buddha, Jewish, Christians, and Muslims. All they meet together to agree, let us be hypocrite and lie to each other. And say we have no problems. Do you see it?
hypocrisy and lies and we don't tolerate lies my friend this is why we speak against anyone who make lies it doesn't matter who Sheikh Muhammad he is the prince of Dubai we welcome the Pope Francis in Dubai this is historical visit will deepen the value of tolerance understanding and interfaith dialogue hmm really mm -hmm. I truly 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 believe you and especially that we have our common values did you notice with me the word common values we Christians and Muslims and Hindus and Buddhas and Jews all of us we share common values with Islam like what exactly burning human alive cutting a woman to pieces somebody apply for a visa in the embassy we cut him pieces we have a butcher house in the embassy somebody he insult the prophet we burn him in the street somebody he say he's a gay we throw him from fourth floor somebody he say something a comment about the prince of the ruler he disappear him and his family and nobody knows where he is i mean obviously we share a lot of common values And this is why I wanted to make this video because many of you because maybe you don't have too much knowledge you might be deceived by such an conference which is made to sell Islam out to us at that it is a, a good uh, tolerant religion and here we go we have a churches in Dubai and why we should not have a churches in Dubai Christianity is older than all of those countries in there we are exist there before them my friend In Saudi Arabia, in Emirat, in Bahrain, in Qatar, in Syria, in Iraq, they are not allowing us. This is our land. I am from there. They are not giving me a license. I mean, imagine they take your land and they say to you, because we are merciful, we will let you pray to your God in your land, which now supposed is their land. So we have to be careful. Yeah, we cannot compare between Saudi Arabia and Emirat for a reason, my friend. There is a reason. All of them, at the end of the day, all of them, they are the same. Emirat is a small, tiny country, and they have no value if they don't do tourism. A huge marketing. They have a free zone. This is why Emirat is Emirat today. Because if they want to do what Sharia law do, Nobody will stay in Emirat for one second. This is why there's nightclubs in Emirat, there's bars in Emirat, but this is all is fake. The second you say something, the second you say something serious, you disappear. As long as you are a person who want to just have sex, sleep around, have drugs, drink beer and whiskey, it's okay with them. The second you say Muhammad and Allah, you disappear. So let us make it simple. As long as you are a loser, you are welcome the second you are a person who have a mission and you want to speak your belief here the tolerance will disappear so we are not stupid and we will not accept such a thing and again i don't want people to make comment against uh, the Catholic because as you see this is not a Catholic thing the Catholic have nothing to do with this. this is the Pope and this is the Orthodox Christians and this is the Jews and this is the Protestant they have leaders from around the world coming to attend this conference all of them they are hypocrite liars what about they stand and they say okay are we going to stop killing apostate hey Prince 
you invited us here are you going to make a law it says that apostate is welcome and he will be respected and his life will not be threatened if somebody decide to deny God he want to be an atheist are you going to make a law that he will not be killed if somebody want to move from Islam to Christianity or any other religion or he don't want to believe anything is he safe in your country or he will be arrested immediately and he will be killed So my friend don't let the liars deceive you Dubai is like a grave they cover it by marble from outside but the inside is a grave it's a dead land there's no freedom it is all about hypocrisy let us lie to each other let us let us give a hug to each other here we go the Muslim and the Christians they are hugging how truthful that is in in Egypt they are burning churches killing Christians every day until now the Christians in Egypt who are the real Egyptian not the Arab Muslims the Egyptian Christians are the real Egyptian they took their land and now they cannot even build a church it take years to get a permit to change the faucet you cannot you are not allowed to change the faucet in a church without a permission from the government all of this is nothing but the propaganda and the whole idea is to make you believe that Islam is a religion of terrorists and Dubai is a wonderful place to be it's false it's a big fat lie and there's no truth in that don't fail in such a propaganda and you will notice they focus always in the picture of the Pope even though there's a lot of Hindus and Buddhas and etc attending that occasion Be careful, my friend, and don't let the liars fool you. And you know me, I don't take a side. I am not a Catholic, but I don't believe that the Pope is presenting the Catholic, and those who they are Orthodox presenting the Orthodox, and those who they are Jews presenting the Jews, and those who they are Hindus presenting the Hindus, and those who they are Buddhas presenting the, the Buddhas, because this is a bunch of hypocrites. They are coming to Dubai for shopping. I guarantee you that every one of those who came to Dubai, he will receive a huge gift from the Prince, His Highness. All of us renew. Try to make such a conference in a country like Somalia. How many people will come? Nobody. Ghana, nobody. Money. You will have a nice, fancy trip paid airplanes fancy suit in the in suite in the hotel priceless gift from the prince i mean what do you want more one trip to dubai in this occasion you are going to be rich for the coming 10 years especially for those small potatoes who they call them leaders they, they, some of them they do not need money like the pope but there's many they are in need of money you go there he make a good speech and we pay you okay thank you for for coming see you next time money my friend money what make all those people come there is money sawami baraha mavi began to talk by chanting peace mantra in a lovely and well received address he said the world was building them parks, video games and hotels, but asked why some of the most popular selling medicine were antidepressant. I mean, look, 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 look what is this? This guy, he is taking his spiritual Hindu belief to Dubai. Why? 
why we have hotels and etc but yet the most sold drug is antidepression why I mean why I will tell you why in a country like yours the majority they cannot afford to buy bread in a country like yours the majority cannot afford to go to school don't give us a speeches about what is making people depressed what hotel what parks In a country like Islamic countries, you cannot even speak your mind. You cannot even eat the one you want, whatever you wish. Can I eat even my food? Halal, haram, halal, haram. Can I say what I like to say? No. That is depression, my friend. That is oppression. That is what make you people commit suicide. That's what make people go and kill themselves or kill others. So bring, they bring those who are supposed to be presenting the Hindus. And here we go, the priest, the Hindu priest. The priest, the Hindu priest, although recalled the meeting with Sheikh Muhammad bin Zayed, the crown prince of Abu Dubai, and the deputy supreme commander of the armed forces, blah, 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 blah. The protocol told us, that we are not supposed to talk to the crown prince. I said, what if the crown prince talked to me? <laughs> this is deep. I have to admit that this, this Hindu priest is deep. He is deep. The protocol said you should not talk, like you see, because they are small. The Pope can talk, you are small, you are tiny. You know, like you don't, you are not allowed to go and shake hands with the prince. There's, there's devil, there are ranks. What is deterrence? They are saying to them in the paper they receive, you are not allowed to talk to the crown prince. What kind of tolerance confronts this conference where they are saying to you, there's a master and they are a slave. He is a prince and you are no one. And you cannot get close to him. Hold on, hold on. Imam Ali Al Amin, Lebanese scholar and member of Muslim Council elders, said too often religion has been used to justify war. Look who is talking. I mean, look who is talking. A Muslim who believe in Islam, he believe in chapter 9, verse 29, says, fight the Christians and the Jews and kill them until they pay the jizya or they convert or they die. And he is saying to us, giving us a speech, that religion is all, you know, often used to justify war. Islam is not responsible for war. Launched under the name of any aggression, nor a Christianity. Look at this. Here we go. If we have a meeting with him alone, he will say, Okay, let me tell you about the crusade. Suddenly, now he don't want to talk about the crusade because he wants you to forget about what Islam is doing. In the Middle East, in every history book, all Islamic history book, always a print for us an image that the crusade are people of the devil when the fact it is the opposite it was the muslims who attack our land and the crusade they respond to the attack they are not the one who do the aggression they are responding to the aggression of islam even in europe even in america they teach you that the crusade are very disgusting bad people a bunch of criminals the fact if not the crusade you will be a muslim today the fact, if not the crusade, you will not be free today. The fact, if not the crusade, there's no America, there's no Australia, there's no Canada, there is an Islamic religion controlling the whole earth today. It is the crusade who protected you, my friend. And they are not the one who did the aggression. It was the Muslims. So it is not Islam response for war. So how your prophet, he said, I've been ordered to kill all mankind unless they convert to Islam or else. 
how dare you to say a religion used often to justify war isn't it what Islam is based on it's justifying killing in the name of God hmm? should we forget what your prophet said should we forget what the Quran teach the man he made it clearly and this is why you Muslims you have war what about the Quran you see in this meeting in this conference they are they're calling each other brothers even they are saying we are brothers but the Quran says the one who take the Christians and the Jews as a friend he is one of them and he is of the devil he is satanic he should be killed so who is lying to who it's a competition of lies this is not a conference of tolerance is that Quran Oh, the Muslim they will say to me this is a weak hadith well, this is Quran this is Allah saying that was that temporarily for the time of Muhammad no this is for the judgment day if you go in the same chapter verse number 14 it says that Allah will spread hate and enmity between the Christians until the judgment day okay you have a conference of tolerance what we will do with Allah? He, is he invited? Is Allah invited to the conference of tolerance? Or he is not welcome? Sometimes we do not know what to say. I mean, they are making, make, they are making, guys, this is say enter judgment day. Does it say there because the Muslim they might say to you, Oh, this is in the time of the Prophet, as always the lie. Does it say this is until the judgment day? Allah have a plan for the Christians to spread hate between them until the judgment day. So now, can we invite Allah to this conference of tolerance? Or he is not welcome. What do you think? Based in the rules and the pledge of uh, the Prince of uh, Emirat, Allah is not welcome because he teach hate. And not only he teach hate, he, he, is a, he is the big boss for hate. He is the one who supply hate. According to the Quran, Allah is the hate vendor. So we string them with enmity and hatred between the one to each other to the day of judgment my friends don't make them fool you and again this is not against i'm not speaking against the catholic or the protestant or the orthodox I'm speaking against hypocrisy. What if Christ he attend this meeting? What do you think he will say? I will tell you what he will say. He will flip the tables and he will say to them, you made the house of my father a market for buying and selling. This is a bazaar. This is a bazaar of hypocrisy and money and check. Everything is for sale. This is why I said Orthodox, Protestant, the Pope, leaders, they are going to do shopping in Dubai. They are not truthful. They are a bunch of hypocrites promoting hypocrisy and don't speak for us. If you can make Islamic countries sign an agreement saying that in our country anyone is afraid to believe or not to believe I will believe you if you can make Islamic leaders agree that in our country if somebody want to preach the gospel in the street he is free to do so the same as Muslims are free to preach their, their, their own uh, uh, yellow pages in New York and London I will believe you then anything else is a lie 
If you tell me that a Christian prince is welcome even though he speak against Islam every day and nobody hurt him, I will believe you then that this is a meeting makes sense and it's a good meeting. Otherwise, what is the purpose of this meeting? It's just to promote that Dubai is a moderate country, tolerance, and the prince of Dubai is a wonderful person and come and do shopping. This is nothing but a business deal. This is will bring a lot of shoppers to Dubai. The hotels will be full. The stores will be full. And more people, they will come and buy. Isn't it true? That is the truth. Uh, we have a guy, his name is Adnan Rashid. Look at this, look at this kid. I don't think he, this guy, I mean, people, they use names. We don't know, know if this is Adnan Rashid or not. I respect him if he come to the speaker corner. Speaker corner is for kids, my friend. It's not for me. What speaker corner? Where people, they go and shouting. You want to call me, call me. What you can say to me in a speaker corner, you can say to me here, why I want to fly all the way to, somebody told you that the speaker corner is next to my door? Somebody told you I will take the bus and I will be in speaker corner? Or you are certified donkey. I mean, sometimes look, look, look at the stupidity. What about we ask your prophet to come to the speaker corner too, and Jibril? And you know what, speaker corner? Can we have a speaker corner in Dubai? Can we have a speaker corner in Afghanistan? Can we have a speaker corner in Saudi Arabia? I will go there. Hypocrite liars. You have a speaker corner because of us we are giving you freedom since when you muslims you know what speaker corner is do you see the hypocrisy give us a speaker corner in dubai we will flood dubai by speaker corners cowards And my corner is bigger than your corner. How many people will listen to you in the speaker corner? Ten people. I have 1,000 watching. And I can show them anything I say in the screen. Reference, proofs, and details. What speaker corner? Where everybody lie and shout. Now, can you prove me wrong? I will open sky for you, Mr. Adnan. Is your speaker corner bigger than mine? Is it? So, my friend, Based on the bridge of the of of the of the prince of uh, Dubai, Allah is not welcome in this conference. He is not, because simply, Allah is a bad person. Either you agree that everything you say here is a lie. Or you say we are telling the truth and Allah is not welcome. Global conference of a human fertility pillars. We have a pillars. Here we go. Promises of a human fertility. Joint responsibility to achieve a human fertility. Human fertility challenge and opportunity. You are right. I mean, I have to believe you. That's it. I mean, as long you repeat it many times and you translate it to Arabic and to English, that's me. It's true. Hmm? Ancient places of worship in the United Arab Emirate. Ancient. Suddenly, Emirate is an ancient place. 
now I'm going to open my Skype if there is any Muslim would like to call me only Muslims please I hope my words is clear only Muslims no Christians shall call for now at least All right, our Skype is coming. <clears throat> Look like my internet is slow. It's taking time to log in. All right. My Skype is on. Only if you are a Muslim, you can call. Oh, we have Mr. Fahim trying to call us. Let us see what Mr. Fahim want to say. <laughs> Answer, Fahim. Maybe he is not there. Um. Hello. Hello. Yes. Uh, Christian Prince, uh, how are you, brother? I'm fine. Uh, I am an uh, ex-Muslim uh, from Morocco. All right. Good to have you, my uh, friend. I want to talk about uh, the Bible. All right. So there is this uh, verse in the Bible that say... What um, do you think about Muhammad, my friend, before you talk? Uh, he's a false prophet. Don't worry, I'm not... Why, why, why do you think he's a false prophet? Uh, yeah, because he say like... I don't know uh, false stuff and you know mm. okay go ahead what is your question uh, so they say that uh, some verse in the Bible talk about uh, coming of a prophet which is named uh, Ahmed or I mm. don't know Mohammed mm. but uh, you say it's not true yeah because I also believe that it's not true but uh, what does this verse talk about? Like, who is this Ahmed that is going to come? You see, when somebody says that Muhammad is mentioned in the in the Bible, that is a very clear sign that Islam is depressed and it is uh, uh, facing bankruptcy. Because why mm -hmm. I need to find why I need to find the name of their prophet in my book if they are sure that their prophet is a prophet? But because they are desperate trying to find a way to prove that Muhammad is a prophet. They look for verses in the Bible speaking about people cannot be Muhammad. As an example, they say the comforter is Muhammad, but the comforter, read the verse after it, it says that this is a spirit. Is Muhammad a spirit or a man? They say he is the comforter, oh, but it says that the one who will send that is, you know, is going to glorify Jesus and the father will send him to glorify Jesus. So do Muhammad believe that Jesus is God? So those are silly people stupid people do not even know they are insulting their prophet because by saying that verse speaking about muhammad you just confirm that muhammad worshiped jesus or they say to you that there is a there's a verse it says that there's there is people who they cannot read they cannot the the, the the book is sealed for them but this is a verse about the hypocrite they say this is about our prophet i agree this is about your prophet i mean this is stupid so i feel sorry yeah, for the muslims yeah trying to find their prophet in our book but they cannot find anyone except hypocrisy mm -hmm. but uh, i mean the word ahmed uh, does mean something in uh, hebrew or something right my friend because it's, uh, it's yeah. mentioned in the old testament i think no that's not true the word ahmed is not it's a muhammadim muhammadim and muhammad uh, Muhammad in yeah, the in the in the Hebrew, like the praised one, yeah. Yeah, Muhammad in, in Arabic is the praised one, but in the Hebrew, mm -hmm. it's a it's like a rat or like a like you know the kind of rats or mice. 
is not uh, a praised one. Mm -hmm. So it's a different word. It's an insult. Uh, uh, I, I, I'm not sure really. Let me let me remember what the. I know actually. I think uh, uh, Muhammad. No, uh, uh, Rat is Akbar. Uh, uh, Muhammad bin what? Let me remember. Yeah. I really forgot what what is the word. You know. Uh, but anyway, uh, okay. Let us say that they are saying that there's a guy. His name is Muhammad. But that a song of song. The same guy who mentioned it is Didat. He is the same one. He said the song of songs is a book of porn. So Didat for twenty years was saying, "Aren't you ashamed to read the song of songs? Aren't you ashamed? Can you read? Go and watch the videos. Can you read those verses to your child?" Then suddenly somebody told him that Muhammadim is the song of songs. Suddenly the song of songs became holy. Hypocrite liars. Yeah, I know. You know what I mean? Like, the song yeah. of songs is not about a man, it's about Jerusalem. The king is praising his city, praising his it's a poetry, have nothing to do with any man. So what Muhammadin? Do Muhammad have a grass in his chest? <laughs> so uh Muhammad do Muhammad have uh, nice legs? Do Muhammad have nice breast? What Muhammad have? I mean, this is stupid. Yes, but uh, Mohammed, his uh, original name was uh, Qatham. Like, uh, Qatham? Qatham, yes. Qatham ibn Abdullah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. But so anyway, my friend, that, when somebody, uh, when, his, yeah, when somebody is, depre is depressed, him, yeah. same time, same time, the mm -hmm. name should be found in, in, the, uh, uh, in the Bible, should be found in the New Testament only, not in the Old Testament. Why? Because the name you mentioned, Ahmad, you remember you mentioned Ahmad? Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah. Ahmad. <clears throat> supposedly, it is Isa who will say that there is a prophet will come after me in chapter sixty-one, verse number six. A prophet will come after me. His me is his name is Ahmad, not Muhammad. So here, the Muslim they are showing uh, that's mean the Quran is corrupt because it should not appear in the New Testament. So sorry, in the Old Testament it should appear in the New Testament, and the name should not be Muhammadim. It should be Ahmadim. You know what I mean? Yeah. So mm -hmm. it's a stupid and same time. Okay, let us say it's mentioned somewhere like I, I saw Zakir Naik saying to a Hindu guy That the word Muhammad is mentioned in the in the Hindu scriptures, too But Muhammad in the Hindu scriptures. It was a demon. He is an evil demon <laughs> <laughs> I mean, this is how desperate they are in the Hindu scriptures Yes, there is a word Muhammad and he is saying this is my prophet but in their Hindu scripture says that Muhammad is a demon, evil demon who was going to be burned, etc. So this is how desperate they are. So they just take like everything, uh, even if it doesn't like uh, make sense or whatsoever. You know, as in the in the Middle uh, East, in the Middle East, you are a Middle Eastern like me, right? You are from Morocco. So uh, in I'm the actually. Uh, like uh, Berber, you know, and okay, Arab. yeah, but, but you are Middle East anyway. I mean, Berber, I'm not yeah, saying you are an Arab, I'm, I'm not saying, yeah, Middle okay, East, yeah. but in the Middle East, if somebody have no honor, what he do, and you know that, like somebody, okay, there's somebody is famous and he is uh, like have a good name, reputation. I say he's my cousin, why? Because I'm trying to lift my honor up, you know what I mean? So I say, oh, he's my cousin, even though the guy he don't know me and I am not even relative to him. This is what Muslims are doing, they have a guy who have a very bad reputation, so they are trying to level him up. This is what bad yeah. people do. Good people, you see, if we go to the Bible, you will see Jesus when he was speaking to the Jews. He said to them, what do you say of the Messiah? He said, they said he is the son of David. Now, I mean, do you know how honor is to say I am the son of David for the Jews? This is the highest honor, the son of David. This is not any person for them. This is David, the, 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 the best king they have. And look what Jesus said to them. He said, well, if he is the son of David, then how David call him my Lord? So you will see how the difference is. The Muslims are desperately looking to be related to someone. The Messiah, he don't accept to be the son of David. Even in the Bible, it says by birth, he is from David. But he, in reality, he is not. He is the God of David. But as the Pharisees were assembled, Yeshua asked them, and he said, what are you saying about the Messiah? Who is son is he? They were saying to him, the son of David. He said to them, and how did David by the Spirit call him 
the Lord Jehovah for he said the Lord Jehovah said to my Lord sit at my right hand until I place your enemies under your feet if there if therefore <clears throat> David called him the Lord Jehovah how is he his son here you will see that he was different the Muslims are desperately trying to make Muhammad belong to the Jew but is Muhammad even a Jew Prophets no. of the Jews, they prophesy for somebody is a Jew like them, not somebody is an Arab. Exactly. But because they are desperate, they have a bankruptcy, they are trying to find a place for their child molester prophet and let us find a place for him in any shelf in the book of the Jews. How the book of the Jews is corrupt, how the Christians are corrupt, and then we are trying to find the name of Muhammad in the corrupt book. Yeah, that doesn't make really sense actually. Yeah. My friend, first, secondly, can you prove to me anyone, any Muslim that Muhammad is a prophet? <laughs> Let us say his name mentioned in some war. Okay. But, okay, if he is a prophet, he should be a prophet. What is the prophecy of Muhammad? Muhammad the prophecy is stupid. Muhammad the prophesy how Allah, he made the baby. And this is the most stupid thing ever, that the sperm became a clot and the clot became bone, a flush and the flush became bones. Muhammad he claimed that women have a sperm coming from their ribs and the man have a sperm coming from his backbone look like Muhammad never heard of something called testicles and his God he never heard of it too so when uh, somebody can I say something about that uh, like the Muslims say that uh, when they talk about uh, coming from uh, the ribs and the backbones mm. they say that the like the baby is formed uh, from a, a bone that is like bet in the back, you know, like between the... <laughs> what, what bones, my friend? <laughs> that's a yeah, good that's one. <laughs> what they say, like... No, my friend. First of all, the, the verse is clear. You know, if you speak Arabic, the word taraib, the word taraib is the location mm -hmm. of the necklace specifically, not all the ribs. You see what the woman, when she so bit the necklace... Say, uh, for the man, yeah? No, the taraib is for the women and the backbone is for the man. Okay. So it coming from between a solb, which means the backbone of the man, and a taraib, the location of the necklace of the women. So Muhammad he taught, and we show many hadith about it. Muhammad he taught that women, her sperm, she have a sperm, and men they have a sperm. And Muhammad he claimed that the, if the women have orgasm first, the baby will be a girl. If the man have orgasm first, will be a boy. And this is again mm -hmm. prove Muhammad to be a false prophet. And this is even not only funny, it's the most stupid thing ever. The messenger of Allah said, the man's water is thick and white and the women's water is thin and yellow. Whichever of them comes first, the child will resemble the parents. Where Muhammad, he got this information from? From Allah. I mean, here we go. They are trying to find the name of their prophet in our book, but can they find where the stupidity of Muhammad is coming from? Yeah, exactly. What kind of a prophet he says such a thing? <clears throat> and this is why, if I get married, I will never uh, have orgasm first because I don't want my child look like me. That would be disgusting. Mm -hmm. Anything else, my friend? No, that's actually that's all. Actually, I just had the the question about uh, uh, about Muhammad being in the in the Bible. You know. Yeah, no problem, my friend. That's all, Thank you for calling. And, uh, Okay, God bless you. Thank you. Take care. Bye. God bless. Let me look for a Christian prince name in the Bible. <laughs> First of all, explain to us the stupidity of your prophet, then tell us where we can find his name. The Muslim, they spend the day trying to convince us that because they have one God, that's mean this is, must be the true God. But your God is a stupid. What kind of God he taught Muhammad this? Here we go, you have one God, but he is the most stupid God ever. I don't care if your God is one or two or three. I care that your God is a truthful or not. You don't have a God, you have hummus. Can you call my Muslim friend? Well, why your Muslim friend don't call me, my friend? Let him call me. He can add me.
We can add me and call me. All right. Hmm. All right. Any Muslim would like to call us? Yeah, I called uh, Fahim. He did not answer. <clears throat> Call Fahim. Well, I I called him already. He did not answer. Let me do it again. I will charge you for the call. Okay. Okay, look like Fahim is taking a nap. What I can do? I mean, do we have any Muslim would like to call us? Anyone? Who is a smart Muslim? He thinks that Allah is God. Uh, we have a request from a Christian a friend here um, and let me give you his uh, page is asking you guys if you like to subscribe to his page if you don't mind okay let me know if uh, if you guys are people who download my videos or any other Christian videos and yours you know if you have a mission I will be uh, happy to uh, post your video the truth about Islam if you like to subscribe support anyone he defend the truth my friend there's no need uh, for me to promote it to anyone just when you see somebody doing good job just help him Christian What this guy is saying? Do we have any Muslim? Anyone? If you know, if you are a person who don't look good, I advise you never have orgasm first, please. I mean, you see. I wish somebody told my dad that in news when he was making love to my mother but what we can do obviously he is the one have orgasm first and here we go this is the result look at me I don't even have a mirror on my house once I saw a mirror I, I get scared this is why I took them off all of them I used to have a mirror in the bedroom when I moved in I took it off like I was leaving the bedroom and the, the mirror in the door I, I came back. I mean, who was who's what is that? I go fishing, I don't take me with me anything. I just look at the water, fish die. That's it. The, the, their tongue come out. True story, Sahir Bukhari. So, my friend, if you want to have a beautiful children's and you don't look good, okay. If you are the man who don't look good, or you are the women who don't look good, please don't have orgasm first. Let the other person who is good looking have orgasm first. What you will lose. I mean, come on. Don't do that to your kids. This is not even fair. Somebody saying to me in Skype, I am ugly too. Well, nice to meet you. I mean, my friend, I don't want to meet ugly people. It's enough to see myself every day. Like, come on, don't don't make me uh, feel depression now. I am ugly too. So what we will do now? We are going to have two more and play cards. Do we have any Abdul?
I mean, if you are seeking a prophethood, um, um, a prophecy, this guy he can beat Ezekiel is easy. He can he can beat Elijah. I mean, look at Muhammad. Elijah is a smaller prophet next to him. I mean, look at this. How he knew that? Unbelievable. Nobody, nobody can be the Prophet Muhammad. Nobody. And by the way, right now, all universities in the world, they are teaching people how to have better look children using the statement of the Prophet. Not only that, the Prophet, he taught us the medicine to fight cancer, AIDS. Uh, look, uh, there's a video about it. I can show it to you. What is the statement Muhammad he did say? Change the whole world. It's a prophecy about what? About the fly. About the fly. Hmm. Read this. I mean, how how the prophet he knew this, brother? How the prophet he knew this? Do you see it? The prophet said, if a house fly, <laughs> sorry guys, the fly fell in my soup, and now I cannot take it off right away. Don't do that. You have to dip it first. The prophet, he said the following. Read with me carefully. This is science. The prophet said, the second you say the prophet said, that's it. That's God is talking. If a house of fly falls in the drink of anyone of you, he should dip it, dip it, dip it, and then drink it. You dip the fly, you have to like push it down, push it down. Like, and the fly will say to you, Why you are pushing me down? Why you are pushing me down? I can't breathe. The fly now is under the drink, under the soup. The fly, the fly trying to, to breathe. I mean, like, why this guy, why this human being is pushing me down? The poor fly do not know that this is the order of the Prophet Muhammad, peace upon him, and this is scientifically accurate. So if the fly fell down in the in the in the soup, and you, what you do, you push it down with your finger, and the, the fly like and you know, like I feel sorry for the fly. I hope I hope the fly she can breathe for long under the water. I mean, that's that's really risky. And then, brother, after you dip the fly in the soup, brother, you take it off and you throw the fly. And now your drink is safe and secure because the prophet, he said, because one of the wings has a disease and the other one has a cure. Unbelievable. Look at this, man. That is science. That's not only science. This is beyond. This is science and beyond. Like Not, not, not like a... Uh, uh, bed and bath and beyond. No, this is science and intelligence and beyond. And you are telling me they found the name of the prophet in the Bible? For sure we will find him in the Bible. Look at this. Somebody call prophet Elijah and teach him to make a prophecy. Why Elijah cannot make something like this? Huh? This is the real prophecy. And right now, every scientist department in the world is using this. Actually, there's a video, honest to God, if you guys, if you saw it. I made a video about it before. I don't know who remember it. There's a doctor uh, uh, from uh, Egypt. He said, there is the Catholic Church in Germany. They wanted to get the prophet busted to expose him. So they hire the most famous scientist in Germany to study the statement of the prophet in order to make fun of him. And they told them, we will spend all the money you want. We will pay you whatever you wish. Just expose him. And then the two scientists, they start studying. And here was the astonishing surprise result. They found that this is true. Ta -da -da, ta -da -da, ta -da -da, and not only that, 
after those two scientists who they are paid by the Catholic Church because they don't like Islam and they hate the Prophet Muhammad peace upon him they discover this the Catholic they told the two scientists please 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 don't tell anyone please don't tell anyone however the two scientists they start selling out the secret and they sold their secret to a company it's called buyer and now they are making AIDS cure from the hadith of the Prophet and they sell every bill for five hundred dollar and this is in the video of the Muslims and for sure this is a true story and the Muslim will be watching TV they will look like what really the Catholic did that they hire scientists to expose the Prophet of Allah and they got busted Allahu Akbar Allahu Akbar Uh, I want to go to Dubai and I want to ask them why you don't have a fly in your soup you idiot we need a soup with a fly because here we go this is how we can find the disease there one wing I mean look do you see where is the disease is in the wing 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 the wing of a fly is the most clean place actually Anyone? What do you mean, Israel? They might have a cure for cancer. I can fight. I can fight cancer easy. Just say, Inshallah. Say, Inshallah, cancer is gone. In the Middle East, we say, Inshallah, electricity will come, never come. Inshallah, we will have the road fixed, never fixed. Inshallah, we will have better schools, never come. Inshallah, Inshallah, everything is inshallah. This, this is why nothing is working. You call the electricity department, he says, the, the electricity is gone. You know, we want to cook for how long is it going to be? He said to you, Inshallah is going to come soon. The second he said to you, Inshallah, it's mean go and take a nap, like or immigrate to a different country. That's it, it's mean it's never coming. Do we have any Muslim, Inshallah, want to call me? And inshallah, you will win if you call me. And inshallah, you will have answers. Hmm? But the most hilarious, inshallah, I ever watched, it was the news in Saudi Arabia for weather. The guy in the news station, he say, inshallah, inshallah, if Allah will. Tomorrow we might have wind in the speed of a 20 mile an hour if and only if Allah will. And inshallah, we might have rain if and for sure, please, if the guy he have to say Allah will every two seconds, otherwise they will kill him because then he is saying he predict the future. You cannot say tomorrow we will have rain. You have to say inshallah, otherwise they will kill you. Unbelievable. Do we have any Abdul? Who is inshallah will call me? Huh? Uh, Muhadda Muhammad Jama, when I call you, but he said he is occupied, so I, I deliver. Here's a question he left Islam, okay, and he want okay. I don't know what he he have to call me, I don't know what uh, you know what wage war you want to fight Islam, fight it by saying and speaking the truth. That's it. Right now, I'm waging war against the devil. Uh, any Abdul? Somebody saying to me, I am an Orthodox, a Greek Orthodox. Do you want to hear the Orthodox side? Please don't separate brothers and sisters. 
we have to be united my friend does Christian Prince is the last one who divide Christians or all of you know that right so if I say that Orthodox leaders Protestant leaders the Pope doing shopping in Dubai I am not dividing the Christians I am exposing your leaders whoever attend that meeting is a hypocrite what does have to do with you as an Orthodox I am the last one to say that to me I ban anyone who attack any Christian group all of us we are Christians it doesn't matter if you are Orthodox for me if you mention to me that you are an Orthodox or Protestant or Catholic I ban you because I don't believe in those names I believe that all of us we belong to one universal church that is the Church of Christ when the Lord he gave the tongues of his Apostles the language of all mankind that day the church became universal and all of us we belong to one church and all of us we have one Lord so don't mention to me what the church you go to I don't care you can tell me what you believe in and what's your fruit Jesus said from their fruits you shall know them not everyone says to me Lord Lord enter the kingdom of my father but the one who do his will so you are Orthodox Protestant Catholic who care you might be a scam you might be a liar you might be even following the devil but you think you are a Christian if you don't have the fruit of Jesus and what is the fruit of Jesus say yay yay or nay nay and anything else is from the devil don't lie don't follow liars and don't promote lies warning for anyone in the text I don't want to see anyone saying I am a Catholic or Protestant or Orthodox I repeat I don't want to see anyone saying I am a Catholic Protestant Orthodox I will ban you I don't care what the church you go to this is something personal I care I care for no one blame the devil here because some Muslim they might come and say oh they start attacking the cat and then another naive Christian he start attacking back you know the devil is there my friend be united against the devil we just showed you the Quran saying Allah will spread hatred and enmity between the Christians until judgment day so be smarter than this a Christian person for me is not someone he is following a priest is someone who is following Christ and I advise you not to say I am a Catholic or Orthodox or Protestant I advise you to say I follow Christ all the names all names all mankind are sinners so why you want to follow a church name led by sinners follow the Church of Christ which is Christ is the Lord of it no Bishop no Pope no priest it doesn't matter if he is a Protestant Orthodox Catholic all are sinners and no one is good save God you put your trust on me you will be disappointed you put your trust in the Lord you will never be disappointed now do we have any Muslim here any Muslim may they may they may they I don't know today I feel like I want to convert to Islam always I you see the one of the things the Prophet he taught which we do not notice here that the Prophet he taught us to be tolerance to fly and teach them how to swim did you notice that I mean look at this man many of you do not notice here that we are giving a free diving and snorkeling lesson to the fly the fly is in your drink and now you need to help the fly to dip it dip it push it down the fly because if it's lightweight cannot go down the fly she wish she can go deep in the water she never be able to do that but because of the mercy and the intelligence and the science of the Prophet Muhammad now we can push the fly down and the fly for the first time she will see the aquarium down there unbelievable I'm really convinced that the Prophet is a prophet by the way and for sure such a person his name is mentioned in the Bible I mean look at this discovery I mean don't he deserve to be in the Bible even in the first page in the Bible if I am in the White House I will change the sign in the front of the White House it says in God we trust we should make it 
in the fly science of the prophet we trust we have to be truthful my friend I mean you cannot fight the truth look at this hmm So do we have any Abdul? Any Abdul in the bushes? Somebody he's saying he's from Africa. He want to play my recording in a in a in an audio. I mean, feel free, my friend. I don't know how to do it. You do it. You find your way. Uh, let us see. Hmm. Uh, sorry guys I'm trying to find a customer and then now I did not find even a fly uh I just I want to comment on this. What if everyone demands Sharia law in every country of the world except Muslim countries? But why? Uh, but only for Muslims, other religion, except my friend, the Muslims themselves don't want Sharia law. Where is Sharia law in in, in all Islamic countries? Nobody practices even Saudi Arabia. Even in Saudi Arabia, Sharia law is not practiced. All of it. It's like seventy percent of it. Where is Sharia law in Kuwait? Where is Sharia? They practice only things, little things, like the law of apostasy. Did you hear anyone is paying jizya in Imarat? No. When the last time you saw people being stoned to death in Imarat? So they don't really, I mean, Islamic world today is different from, from far away from Sharia law. But still it is ugly. Still it is ugly. All right? Uh, we have a woman she said I can say the same about Jesus what is the proof that Jesus is exist or he is true I said to her that we have we, we have living miracles every day she said wow really I thought miracles supernatural thing stop happening 2000 years ago i have yet to see anything uh, that i would consider a miracle you are lucky to have been able to witness one let me tell you the miracles uh, lady you will see somebody he is a terrorist and he joined christianity and he became a peaceful that is a miracle someone he was a member of isis and he want to chop the head of everybody and then by accepting christ he turned upside down that is a miracle so if you want to be a silly person you feel free the miracle in our life happened but if maybe you are seeking different kind of miracle maybe you are seeking that somebody cut your finger you want your finger to grow that can happen to a lizard if you want if this is the case here we go we have a lizard who made a miracle so sometimes they are silly some people they are silly they say oh where is the miracles of god i want to believe in god show me his miracle my friend you are a miracle of god you yourself When somebody want to say to me, I don't believe in God, and then we find that everything around us prove that God is exist. And they say to us, how come natures of things like this, they are similar? Because the, the maker is one. We have one signature. This is why there is a lot of similarity. 
because the creator is one let us see I appreciate if people don't say to me hello in Skype please I want Muslims to call me only somebody asking me would you like to consider making tafsir in the Quran well in the Quran I'm doing right now the translation I'm adding notes which is equivalent to a short tafsir so it's not a full tafsir but to just to make connection between the dots uh, okay Do we have any Muslim would like to call us? Should we should we change this hadith in the front of us? I mean, come on. If what if somebody is eating a soup now? And here we go. We are posting for me a fly fill in the soup. Let us let us post something is more attractive. Something, I mean, not disgusting. Enough is enough. What's wrong with this Christian prince? But fly, we want to see something more more nice hmm. Hmm. I think this is nicer we 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 breaking news breaking news Sahih al-Bukhari the wife of the Prophet she just announced that one of the wives of the Prophet noticed during the time of the prayer that she have a bleeding from her private part between her legs she have a red yellowish traces and then she put a tray underneath of her private part my brother i mean this is a news everybody should know i mean this is serious who care if we have a nuclear weapon? Who care if people die from cancer? Who care? We need to know about the yellowish blood coming from the vagina of the prophet wife. And I want to know right now what is the tray brand she used? I want to order one. One billion point four Muslim, they are now reading this. And we have to know this this is not you cannot you cannot hide the truth my friend this is this is God this is God I mean you cannot find any prophet the family of the prophet they are interesting too not only the prophet himself I am glad that the prophet wife she did not say that one of the prophet wives when she was having her period a fly stopped in her uh, or on her uh, <clears throat> I mean what is that man what is my ID a DB TV uh, before you search for my name don't forget to say inshallah to find me because many Muslims they try to do that but they don't find me because they forgot to say inshallah Now, you know, the more we uh, read about the Prophet, you notice that the Prophet, not only he have like a special uh, approach to the truth in the world, he's logical. Uh, Muhammad always, he have a different way to express himself. Very unique. I mean, sometimes it's really beyond imagination of any of us. Any Abdul would like to call us? Anyone? Nobody? I'm, I'm really disappointed until now we don't have Muslims calling us
anyone. You know, uh, people, they are making donation for me. I really appreciate them. But be, remember, I cannot promise you heaven. You can go to heaven guaranteed if you make donation to Allah. Have you ever heard of a God? He asked for a mortgage. He want to get a loan. And if you donate to Muhammad, Allah forgive your sin guarantee. If you donate to Christian Prince, sorry. I cannot help you. I'm just giving you a disclaimer. <laughs> you know what I mean? This is how you know if somebody is a scam. Since when, if I donate to you, you promise me heaven? That's happened only in Islam. If you, Muhammad, he made verses in the Quran saying, if you give Muhammad money, read with me. If ye loan Allah a beautiful loan. Guys, who want to give me a beautiful donation? Be beautiful loan? What does that mean? And what kind of God he need a beautiful loan? Oh, get a little light, get a little, 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 little loan. This is Tom and Jerry. When his uncle he came to visit him from Mexico, he have a guitar. Each time his guitar line broke, he take a loan from the cat mustache. You remember the video? Oh, get a little, 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 little light, get a little, 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 little lumbo, get a little, 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 little light, get a little, 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 we need to take a loan. And now we take it from the mustache of any Abdul. What kind of God he cannot fix his guitar without taking a loan? Allah, he need a loan. And not only that, he's saying, if you give him a loan, Allah will double your credit. I like that. 50%, 100%? Are you kidding me? So I give Allah now $100, he will give me back $200, and not only that, he will grant you forgiveness. What the heck? I want to buy forgiveness. Have you ever heard of a God? If you give him a loan, he forgive you? Hurry, 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 day. The loan today, the loan today. It is Allah day. Hooray, hooray. Give me, give me loan. Allah, He need it right away. Give Him, give Him loan. And if you give Him a loan, Allah forgive your sin. I mean, what a promise. Who can beat that? Why Jesus forgives sin of people without asking for money? And why Jesus did not ask for a loan? Nobody. Do we have any Muslim here? Isn't it obvious that your prophet is scam? Promising people salvation just because they give him money? And who is the one who will collect the loan? Muhammad. Isn't it obvious? Who is a Muslim when I give us a call? Mayday, mayday. What is the reference? This is a chapter 64, verse number 17. But this verse is appearing many places in the Quran, by the way, not only one place. All right, this is not only in one place. You guys sending me messages in Skype. I can't even understand what the message. What is the question? In case you did not read this message, would you be great if you can respond to uh, PM Sasa, chair my husband? And what is the question? I don't know. Mystery. Maybe people think I can answer the questions even if I do not know the question.
Do we have any Muslim? Hello? Hello? Nobody. My friend, do you know what a scholar in Islam mean? Do you do you have an idea what scholar in Islam? Like when we say a Muslim scholar, in fact, there's no Muslim scholar in Islam. In case you do not know. According to the Quran, the scholars Muhammad he named them is the one who say we believe, not the one who knows. And I, I challenge any Muslim to say I'm lying. The one who have knowledge in Islam is the one who say I believe, not the one who knows. Chapter 3, verse number 7. And those who are firmly grounded in knowledge say we believe in the book. That's it. You do not need to have a firmly knowledge because you go and read the interpretation. They says to you, Allah knows best. They have no knowledge. Do you remember when we debated with Dr. Rohi, who have a firmly knowledge, he have a PhD in Islam? I asked him, where is the word Allah came from? He said, as we know, an Arab guy, he is the first one he use it. An Arab guy? Well, nice to meet you. Even the name of their God, they do not know where it's coming from. You do not need my permission to send a question. You can send a question, no problem. You mean in Skype? Yeah, just try to be an uh, important question. Who is a Muslim when I call us? And look at this book. This book, Allah, he says, because Muhammad, he cannot explain the book because he's a thief. He's not the maker of the book. So people, they are asking him what this book means. So he said, oh, my book, have two parts one of it nobody knows what it means save Allah what what the Quran is a book nobody knows what it means save Allah hello so why Allah sending the book Guys, I am going to write a book soon and please be sure before you buy it, I have a disclaimer. Nobody will understand what I am saying in that book, save a Christian prince. I mean, that is logical. You start reading my book. You open the first page. It says, Hummus, 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 Falafel. Falafel, falafel, hummus. Then you call me and say, Christian Prince, in the first page it says hummus, hummus, falafel, hummus. What does that mean? I say to you, I am just a prophet. Allah knows best. I have no idea. Don't ask me. I don't know. My Adri. If we call Zakir Naik now and we ask him, what does that mean? Zakir Naik will not answer unless you call him three times. Assalamu alaikum. I told you, I told you one thousand times. Don't call me. Uh, 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 how you know it's me? I know you. I know you. You are like a ghost. You are following me wherever I go. I go to the bathroom, I hear your voice. I go to the bedroom, I hear your voice. I open my refrigerator, I see you. Uh, you are everywhere. Please leave me alone. Uh, just I have a question about the verse. It says that only Allah knows what it means. So what does that mean? It's very simple. Allah is full of mystery. Have you whatever James Bond? Watch what? James Bond. Uh, you mean James Bond? Exactly. If you watch them Bond, you don't know how they make the movie. Because simply there's some kind of a tricks. So Allah is very tricky. And there is no way to understand Allah. That's not because he is crazy. But you will notice that most of people do. They are genius. They are called crazy. As an example. How many Muslims they call you crazy every day? Oh, like a hundred? Exactly. Why they are calling you crazy? 
uh, because I say things they don't like exactly and this is exactly what you are doing with Allah he did things you don't understand and you call him crazy thank you very much and don't call me again and this is how Zakir Naik refuted me that's it I mean how you can answer that <clears throat> no one Any Abdul? Somebody asking me what the name of the movie had multiple personality. Oh, this is all the uh, message that was called uh, uh, the perfect host. Muhammad went to Al Aqsa Mosque, but the mosque was not built till after Muhammad died. First of all, nobody knows where this Aqsa Mosque is. There's no confirmation that this is in Jerusalem. Nowhere, no. Secondly, yes, the Aqsa Mosque was built long during the time of Abdel Malik of Marwan. So how this is, can be a mosque is exist? It's a fabrication. Same time, even the Quran does not give any details. And this is why we say it's Quran, Islam is a stupid religion. You say that Allah, he sent his messenger from Mecca doesn't even say Mecca actually, it says Al Masjid al Haram, the second mosque, to the farther mosque or the farthest mosque. How Al Aqsa can be the farthest? I mean, this is a stupid statement to say. If the Muslim they believe that Allah He sent a messenger for every nation, that means there is a messenger for the Egyptian, uh, for the Japanese, for the African, you know, Morocco, uh, America, Australia. China, so how the Aqsa is the farthest mosque? Yeah, stupid. I mean, you need to ask Muhammad about this. Allah knows best. All right. Let us see if this guy is a Muslim. <laughs> Anyone? Guys, invite your friends. And if you are a Muslim, feel free to call me. Come to Norway. I mean, you invite me to Norway in the winter. Uh, come on, uh, Angela, wait for me. And uh, okay, what about you invite me in August? I will go. See guys how nice the invitation they invite me to Norway in the cold I mean hello what I will do there already here is minus 30 invite me in August July I mean come on what now anyway uh, I accept your invitation Angela thank you very much uh, let us see here with uh, this Muslim Answer, my friend, answer. <coughs> Hello? Hello? Yes, you are live on air, my friend. Go ahead. What do you want to say to us, Abdul? I'm not Abdul. I'm Afzal. You're what? Afzal. Afzal? Okay. Yeah. Are you a Turkish? I'm not. Okay. You are a Muslim, right? Yes. Okay. What Muslim mean? Actually, I'm not a practicing one. Okay, but you call yourself Muslim. Yeah, because I'm born Muslim. So. All right. So you don't like you don't you, you don't think Islam is a good religion or what? I've been listening to you. Okay. You know, I live uh, in the Middle East. So. All right. Don't say where know. where you live. No problem. Yeah. Thank you. So, everything around me is is this way but uh you know I, I i have a lot of questions that's why i just wanted to you know ask you some questions if that's okay sure no I, I know you're i know you're pretty aggressive with 
you no, know? no, I'm not really aggressive. If you know me in in, in in reality, you will see how friendly I am. Actually, once I, I, I was living in a building for a year, and each time I say good morning to the one in the elevator, they never answer me. This is how I look nice, too. I mean, they get scared. So don't worry, my friend. <laughs> Go ahead. What is your question? Actually, I just wanted to know, like, uh, you know, there are people who say that, uh, you know, uh, the the story, there is no original sin, you know. See, I've got uh, I've got Christian friends as well. Mm. Okay, but uh, and I'm pretty open and I'm a very friendly person. But you know, uh, okay. off late, you know, I've just uh, uh, you know I, I'm married, and you know, once you marry, you know, things are different. And, you know, you try to be a little bit more religious, and you know, things like that. Mm. Okay. I, 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 for me, you know, I know there is a God and I really like to know my creator, you know, and I'm just like this, this guy who is in the, in the Bible, his name is, you know, David, uh, who's a man after God's own heart, you know, mm. so, so unfortunately you, I can't. Okay. Your, yeah, your main sorry. question is about uh, the original sin. Yeah, I'm. I'm a bit. Conf I'm a bit confused. I. I don't know what. Okay. To what, let like, me explain to you. I, original sin in Christianity is very simple. Original sin does not mean that we, um, let us say, uh, like uh, the Muslim, they try to explain original sin in a funny way. They say the Christians believe that Adam mm -hmm. is the reason for all us to go to hell. The fact, Adam he commits sin, and I commit sin too. So original sin mean that is the first sin man did against God. So we believe in that. However, it doesn't mean that just because Adam he commits sin, I will go to hell. No, because I commit sin too. The Bible confirmed that every human being is a sinner. But the Muslims they deny original sin. But if you go into details, you will find that Muhammad he agreed with original sin without knowing. There is that written. You can see. Uh, do you see my screen? I don't actually. Uh, do you know my YouTube page? Are you listening YouTube or no? Wait, wait, wait. Yes, I am looking at it from another phone. Okay. Yes. You can unmute just to be sure we will not have double uh, sound. It says the prophet said, "Where not of many Israel meat would not decay." This is how much he hated the Jews. And then he says, "If not Eve, if not, and where it not for Eve." No woman would ever betray her husband. Now, Muhammad here, he have a wrong idea of original sin. But in the same time, it's about original sin. Which means Muhammad, he confirmed here, according to Islam, not according to us, that right. he believed that sin of women is inherited from Eve, correct? Right. So how he deny original sin in, in the way they say it to us? Same time, we don't believe that women are sinners because he was sinner. We believe we are sinners in nature, and we are a human. We are sinners. Adam was the first sinner, yes, but we are sinners too. But as you see here, Muhammad is the one who confirmed that you inherited sin by even gender. He don't blame the man for the sin; he blamed the women for sin. Same time, there's different hadith. Which is getting Islam busted when they say to us we refuse original sin. Right. I don't know for how long you are watching my videos. I've been watching them for quite some time. All right. You will see can here. You, you... Go ahead. Sorry, go ahead. No problem. What, what do you want to say? No, I, I mean, what I was thinking was initially I was like, why is this guy, you know, he's just going all, you know, head over heels on the subject but you know what i actually you know I, i'm an educated person and and i i listen to things you know all right that's and good. I, and i know a lot of people they tell us don't seek the truth but i really don't want to listen to those people but i i like to really seek you know My if friend, there is something like this I, I need to find out why it is that way yeah you notice here I, I, everything i say I show the reference, right? I never say something. Absolutely. Okay. I, I'm, so, I'm really convinced. Yeah. Read with uh, in, me carefully. Show, which is what? Read with me carefully. 
there was an yeah. argument this is Muhammad talking there was an argument between Adam and Moses Moses says to Adam you are our father you did uh, us harm and caused us to get out of paradise and look what happened here look like Moses believe in original sin because we are out of paradise because of the sin of Adam Adam said to him oh you Moses Allah he selected you and he spoke to you directly and he wrote in his hand the Torah for you despite this you blame me for an act which Allah has ordained for me 40 years before my he created me what does that mean that's mean there is two prophets and the Muslim they claim that both are Muslims one of them believe in what Christians believe that Adam he commits sin therefore we are out of heaven and that is funny because how Moses he died because supposedly this is happened after Moses died there's no way Moses he met with Adam right <laughs> I mean this yeah, is supposedly yeah. yeah so how Moses he's a Muslim prophet but yet he didn't understand simple thing about Islam that you should not believe in original sin but as you see here Moses he is convinced that we are out of heaven because of the original sin of our father Adam Adam he answered him says can you blame me for a sin which Allah he ordained for me 40 years before my creation which mean here Muhammad he believe there was original sin of Adam but it is Allah's sin because who is the one who ordained the sin for Adam it's Allah Allah decide that Adam should do sin this is fate mm -hmm. destiny so Adam saying to to uh, uh, to Moses do you blame me for something an act which Allah he decreed for me which mean I have no choice to do it or not so how you can blame me for that and here we notice the stupidity of the one who made up this story because if we cannot blame Adam for the sin he did it's Allah who made him do it so why Adam was kicked out of from heaven yes because Allah made him do it yeah but this is not that but it's not fair I don't know if you watch the debate I have a debate with the Muslim Sheikh just uh, three days ago I think you can watch it it's called the uh, uh, Sheikh Abdul Wadud you can search my previous videos the guy yeah, asked, I, I heard that yeah I asked him yeah. the same question he says well I, I, I showed him this he said well Allah he decreed that can you say no to Allah Allah he ordered you to do sin can you say no but, but, but it was justice it was logic so Allah he made me do sin and then he punished me for what he made me do that is a devil so Islam is religion right. of stupidity you cannot stand a question so I, I have a question so why why did why did Allah create Adam in the first place I mean what's the purpose another Muslim he answered this he said Allah wanted to be known I don't know if you saw that debate too he said Allah wanted to be known so he chose Adam as a victim and he made him do sin so people would know about him mm -hmm. in different hadith Muhammad he said the following let me see if I can find it for you Muhammad he said that I swear by Allah if you don't commit sin Allah uh, he will replace you with people who commit sin right he will destroy you and he will replace you with people who commit sin and ask for forgiveness so the whole idea of sin Allah is a sick person <clears throat> he like to hear people asking for forgiveness so if you don't commit sin he will destroy you as simple as that so right. sin sin is a requirement and it is a need for Allah it's like uh, like you what you want to watch a movie about an alien sucking people by a machine because they need their blood to live that is Allah Allah he need you to be sinner because if you don't commit sin they will not then you will not ask for forgiveness and if you don't ask for forgiveness Allah is bored Allah he don't feel important Allah is suffering from mental illness it's like saying I want my son or my daughter to do something wrong so she will feel guilty each time she look at my face you know what I mean right and yeah. that is a sign of sickness very clear sickness this is cannot be God that is devilish that is not fair yeah. this God he play games with us if you if we what what Muhammad is saying <clears> here <throat> if you are a good person Allah will kill you you have to commit sin if you want to live yeah. commit sin otherwise Allah will speak you out of existence 
and he would replace you with people who commit sin and ask for forgiveness so what the difference between me and you if you if I if you commit you commit no sin Allah will kill you I commit sin I am better than you especially if I am asking for forgiveness and this is what our requirement is yeah. and this is a clear evident that Muhammad is 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 a is a is a foolish man saying stupid things you know, this is foolish. This is not only, uh, I mean, I can't even use the word stupid. Stupid is uh, is too smart to say for Muhammad. This is beyond stupidity. Right. Uh, I, I just also have one question. I actually heard one of your debates uh, about um, some of these worshippers. Prophet Muhammad was, you know, asking uh, or advising them not to go to pray. Uh, when they are drunk, yeah. So uh, I just see. Yeah, I'm not much aware of uh, you know uh, these things. So <clears throat> I'm just asked to follow things, you know. But I'm, I'm taking my stance to this. You know, my wife, uh, she's pretty religious, but I'm not. So you know, I, I need to find a way through. To you speak you Arabic, know, right? I, I don't actually okay I, I you see all those yeah. hadith about in front of us proving that Muhammad used to drink wine and he was a drunk person even he teach Muslims how to make wine all those hadith and they are sahih all but of them. are these okay. credible or are they just uh, you know do they nullify this as weak no 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 those are those are not weak those are sahih those are sahih no, this is not weak okay this is not the, you see the word nabid nabid okay yeah prepared for him and if you click this is Sahih Muslim this is not a joke all right this is Sahih Muslim so right. Muhammad he used to be a drunk and even there's many hadith seen that he was a person who teach the Muslims how to make wine if you go in the Quran you will find even that in the Quran the Quran claim that alcohol is a miracle of Allah Where if you go in chapter 16 verse number 70 uh, 67 it says that Allah Muhammad is proud about alcohol. He's saying, and you know what I don't. Un sorry to interrupt you, but uh, you know what I don't understand is if all this is there, I don't understand why you know why the Imam you know on and Friday after Juma prayer why they why they why they say or why they tell us you know these things you know that it's prohibited and. I mean, they're clearly just lying to us without even reading from the scripture. You see, if you, uh, you know, you know how Islamic countries is. You want to live, you better, you know, there's, there's things you can say and there's things you cannot say. And who dare to that's question? That's true. That's what I'm scared of too. Yeah. Because who dare I'm to question? With my life here. You know that if I am in, now in the Middle East and I'm doing what I'm doing, how long I will live? <laughs> you know, I, I mean? don't think even a couple of minutes. Right. So uh, it, it, why they don't say, we know why they don't say, but it is there. As you just said so it is there it's and here there. we go as you see the, the translation even false it says uh, out of a wholesome drink the, the, in Arabic it says sakaran warizakan hasana sakaran which means alcoholic drink will make you drunk and a good of it you make good money from it so this is a sign of Allah also a sign for those who are wise so how alcohol is a sign from Allah I will tell you why uh, but I have a question here. Yeah, uh, it says, and from the fruit of the date palm and the wine. So, is it talking about just juice, or is it talking? No, no, about no, 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 no. In Arabic, my friend, it says sakar, uh, Here we go. Sakran is uh, being drunk, right? Drunk, yes, that's it. Uh, so this is not about the juice. No, it says women thamarat in the wal anab minhu sakaran from the date and the grape. You take from it alcohol, make you drunk. This is what it says. If you change the trans, you are reading translation. This is the this is the issue. Always translation is fake. Here, this is Yusuf Ali. If, if we change the translator, let's see different one. Let us see what's going to be. Do you see the how the translation change? We just change yeah, change the translator. Suddenly, it is not wholesome drink. You see it? Yeah. Yeah. Intoxicant. Absolutely. So we change the translator. The whole thing changed because simply every translator he have his own way to translate and the propaganda or agenda. 
some they are less truthful some of them they are more truthful some of them they are wholesome liars but the Quran says it clearly that you know and at this moment the Muslim they will say to you at that moment uh, alcohol was not forbidden okay hold on so if alcohol is a miracle from Allah and saying you make it from from it a, a good a good a good of it good what is good of it how they later became evil here he is a prize in alcohol speaking good about it saying you make good of it it says what is a mm -hmm. you make good good of it okay what this is alcohol what is good of it in this scenario Muhammad here was not sick yet after Muhammad he drank the poison anything he swallowed he he vomit he can't drink no more Muhammad he come yeah. and he says it's forbidden to drink wine otherwise as you see this is the same God who forbid the wine is the same God he praised the wine it can't be right that's a contradiction right yeah in the same like either in different verses says that alcohol from shaitan how alcohol from shaitan and here you I say this is a miracle of Allah <laughs> you know and how how alcohol is from shaitan yet the, the the heaven have a have a river of uh, of of wine you know right and by the way the same chapter we are reading from here is full of stupidity like uh, Allah he inspired the bees and he said to her go and live in the mountains and then he said to her uh, eat from all the fruits and from their bellies drink come from there with uh, uh, many colors uh, what the Quran is speaking here, he, the, the 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 maker of the Quran, he thought that the bees eat from the fruits and they do poo poo their honey. <laughs> mm -hmm. So the honey is the poo poo of the bees. But the fact this is not what they eat. The the bees they don't eat from the fruit. They collect a nectar from the fruits or from the flowers, and they bring it. And the honey is their food. What the Quran teach. That the honey is their poop, and the food, the fruit is their fruit, their their food. And how 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 that can be God? This is God talking. This is so smart. So my friend, let me ask you. Uh, yeah. Do you do you feel like leaving Islam now? You want to denounce Islam? I actually did in my heart, but maybe not by my words. Okay, that sound good. So we can say you are out of Islam. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, this is this is nonsense, and it's it's control system, you know. But <coughs> where I live, it's not possible to, you know, uh, say things like this. But I think I I just have to find a way. I, I just have to do it. Hmm. Well, I'm very happy for you, my friend, that you left Islam. Uh, do you have any question for me about Christianity? As long as you decide to leave Islam and you, you know, you are like you, uh, you are very sure that this is a very stupid cult and you don't want to be part of it. Good for you, but what do you think about Christianity? I I have a lot of uh, respect for uh, for Christ because I I can see that he's always done good things, and uh, you know, I mean he's helping people and he's. He's definitely he can't be human, you know, because of all the things that he's done. So I'm just taking it like one step at a time, and I'm pretty convinced that Christ is God. I know that. I mean to I, that, I know... my friend. I mean to that. I mean to that. So you accept the Messiah as your savior, then? Absolutely. I I that's, know that, but you know, wonderful. I just don't want to go around saying this because you know how it is in, in this part of the world my friend who care about the world you, you know the, the, the Messiah he said what is the benefit of you win the whole world and you lose yourself so win yourself first so I'm so happy that you believe and you accept the Messiah as your Lord and your Savior and that is what is important is not what the world want not what if we do what the world want we will go nowhere and we will never be satisfied in anything the world today is about how to make money, how to be rich. And the more you make money, the more you find that you are poor. And the more you find that you are not happy yet. So appreciation of the Lord is very important. And knowing the Lord is extremely the way to find the appreciation, which means to find the happiness. 
as long as I don't appreciate what I have for the Lord he gave me I will never be happy so finding the Lord that he is the only one you should believe in is the way for happiness and you just got your happiness I'm happy for you thank you very much sir I just want to say two things uh, you know just don't want to take much of your time but uh, one is you know I've listened to uh, Dr. Zakir Naik you know speak and the way you imitate him is absolutely hilarious you know i, I gotta give it to you I, I wish i can give you an award for it because you, you're absolutely hilarious when you imitate him you know that's that, that's one and um, the other thing is uh, you know if you don't mind I'll, I'll try to get my wife and another friend as well because i've been discussing with uh, another close friend of mine this guy is uh, he's basically uh, he talks to a lot of people uh, and converting them to uh, hello can you hear me yeah, I hear you. Go ahead. yeah uh, so he he talks to a lot of people and he's converting them to you know islam and everything so he's got this thing he was telling me that uh, you know you have to be more active and you know we need to get this done and see this through mm. but i'm more uh, you know i'm more logical and i'm thinking that uh, listen, if you're going to sell something to people, I mean, it has to be beneficial for them because I don't find it beneficial. Well, about so, you, well, you ask I, this person I'm to call me. You can ask him to call me and you watch and laugh. Let him, this guy who want to convert people to Islam, let him call me. Tell him, yeah, but don't say that is, you, you know, tell him that, I, would you like to call this guy? I, I really would like to do that, but, uh, you know, I'm going to take it at, uh, at this pace. What I'm going to do is I'm going to be telling him uh, and maybe before I ask him to speak with you i'll speak first with you because you know uh, this guy might get offended real fast you know you know how they think yeah yeah and be careful because now uh, maybe if you ask him to call me you they will know that you left islam already so just be careful. oh no no he, you know, he's not going to know that you know i know how to camouflage myself oh, i've okay. been doing it for quite some time i've been listening to your your videos i actually i also listen to a lot of uh, sam shimon and david Wood, and i really thank people like you i mean you know that uh, because people like you take a lot of risks in your life for the benefit of others and i really thank you know god almighty that people like you exist you know someday you know that i wish like there will be hundreds of people like you across the globe and you know uh, and and tear this uh, nonsense down I, I really like this is what i want you know yeah well you know if you if you can bring me any muslim to debate me i will be happy to do so just tell me they can call me and you just sit and watch and you will see this the, the this ability of this cult this is the most silly stupid cult ever you know and here in the same time people learn how to debate with muslims how to show them the truth and you will learn yourself how to do it too it's like here what we have here is a free school open every day yeah. for free you know thank you very much sir you i really appreciate don't call you. me sir i'm your brother in christ my friend who's sir there's no sir here the lord he says when 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 the when, when the messiah he wanted to wash the feet of his apostles they said to him what you want you are our lord you want to wash?" he said if you don't let me do that you don't belong to me so in christianity my friend the master is the one who serve to be the to be the first you have to be the last so we oh, are different from, from uh, different from islam in islam you see they say that we are the one who worship a man but look our our the man we worship the messiah they think he is just a man he is the one who wash our feet and he is the god for us muhammad muslim they were fighting over his boogers they are fighting over his snot they are fighting over the the the, the, the underwear wash so we are the one who worships supposedly a man who is god but the fact we are worshiping god who become a man not man become a god and they are the ones supposedly who don't worship a man but the fact every act they do muhammad for them is more important than god even muhammad himself he claimed that allah he pray on him and salute him even he claimed that allah the first thing he wrote in his chair the name of muhammad he wrote the shahada and the name of muhammad there so muslims they worship a man we worship god and that his name is the messiah the christ who commit no sin who his name is glorious and he himself is a miracle for god is a miracle and i'm really happy for you my friend that today thank you very you, much you accepted Mr. the Christ. Prince, I, I really appreciate uh, speaking with you and it's an honor and keep doing what you're doing because there are a lot of people like me who are on the fence you know 
if so you want me you to speak your, if you want me to speak to your wife you know you can call me if you want in private no problem bring your wife with you and you can call me in private we can decide what time and I will be happy to talk to your wife if you want yeah I, I actually don't mind you know I, I actually tried to notify like a few things to her mm. you know but uh, she was like what's wrong with you you know are you are you out of your mind because you know she's talking about leaving tradition and customs and you know things like that I don't follow Christ so, because of a custom you see I'm born from a Christian family but I am not a Christian because I'm born of a Christian father and mother in Christianity you cannot be Christian because you are born of a family you have to reborn again which means you have to believe and accept the Messiah as your Savior like you now you are reborn again with the Christ so we don't believe in such a thing to be born of a, a family and that whatever the family is you will be one of that religion that is a stupid even to be you have to make right. a decision I, you have to know what you believe in and you have to agree with it but right. I already feel like so much of you know stress and burden off my chest you know I yeah. just uh, feel so much better when I when I said this because before like I, I already denounced uh, you know this in my heart but I I don't know who I can talk to I don't I you know my surrounding does not really permit me to talk about such things openly you know I feel your so pain, it's my good friend. to know I feel your pain no problem you can call me anytime you wish feel free and I will be happy to hear you just remind me of yourself because I have hundreds of people in my if not thousand in my Skype so don't be surprised if you call me again and don't even remember you know what I mean it's That's not like I'm, a, I'm not like a person who have like five people in his you know what I mean like it's a <laughs> no no I, I totally understand because you know what I'm bad with names as well sometimes I forget names but that's okay you know I will I will remind you about this no problem that that's fine we can just take it from there thank you my friend for calling and may the Lord bless you and I will ask all the Christians here to pray for our brother here and his family and his wife that his wife too she will accept the Messiah and she will follow the step of her husband and they will have a beautiful family who love peace who believe in peace and believe in the Lord of the peace the Lord of love for our Lord is love and my friend love will be upon your family with your house within your house with your children's and the Lord will bless your family just be with the Lord and he will be with you and if the Lord is with me who could be against me no devil no power nothing nothing can be against me just be appreciation person and you will be happy and you will feel better because they try you see if we go and read about uh, our our church fathers they even killed them they crucified them but they were they were dying happy even death even you can die happy when the, the Messiah he said time will come and people will kill you and by killing you they think they are doing a favor to God and those are what happened to us today everything he said is a truthful but yet yes sir. those who give their life they are feeling happy even in death imagine they are happy I, I remember somebody was telling about uh, I, I'm not sure which I know it's there in the Bible uh, they say that it to be to live is to gain or to die is to gain in Christ right. or something yes. like this yes because yeah because you you know you you you, you gain your happiness uh, there is a there is a story of a monk and you know just uh, we take a minute to tell you this short story there's a there's a monk he spent his life preaching the gospel and he's dying now like you know so they brought the doctor and the doctor he told uh, the other monks that uh, your brother he looked like he lost his mind they said to him why uh, he said I just told him that uh, he will he have a few a few, a few hours to live and he have like he's so happy and he have a big smile in his face he looked at me he did not talk he's so happy so he said why don't ask him why he's happy so he went inside again and he asked him why you why you are happy he said my son I left all my life you know moving from town to town preaching the Lord the, the, the name of the Lord and now you are telling me in a few hours I will meet my Lord should I be happy or not so it depends how we see what it's called death the one who have a belief and he's a believer death for him is just a stage of life not a stage of death it is another life for the one who don't right. have a belief death is death that said he is gone it is over so for us death means nothing it is not something terrifying it is not something scary it's just a stage in life we will live and as long we have we are believers that the Lord he will be preparing for us a kingdom which we never saw like and it's not about having a kingdom of virgins and food and etc that is silly that is very silly we will have a different kind 
something amazing spiritual lovely we will be the same as the angels the Messiah when they ask him this woman who her husband died and her husband uh, her brother he marry her who is going to have her in the heaven he said he and she they will not get married they will be the same as angels in heaven so spirituality in Christianity happiness is not about food as in Islam or about sex Islam is satanic cult making you be addicted to sex and food and normal pleasure we see around us in Christianity yeah, actually actually you know speaking of that you know I mean I know this guy who uh, is he's my friend you know he's he's married to like two two women and they both stay in the same house and you know so I just hinted to my wife of course I love her you know there's no way that I want to look at another woman and you know I, we see a lot of movies which also tell us that you know it's always like a one woman one man kind of thing so but these guys they say that you know no you can actually go and you know multiply and get more kids and it's fine because uh, i know people who've done it my uncle has like three wives and you know so my wife is like really scared like she's thinking that I might leave her or maybe when she becomes fat after a couple of kids or something like that Yeah, tell her well, you know, see I became a Christian now. So that 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 risk is not is gone <laughs> <laughs> so Absolutely, she, yeah, so she should be to, happy for that. I have to tell her that yes. I mean uh, That's how it should be. You know, I, I just never understood how, how it is like it's it's sad that you know I've got a lot of friends a lot of friends who are actually females i mean we chat we don't probably meet face to face but we chat and you know their lives are so sad and i feel a lot of pain for them because some of them you ever heard about this muta mm, of yeah uh, uh, it, don't ask christian prince if he heard that will be not <laughs> <laughs> i'm so sorry sir <laughs> yeah oh. yeah yeah so you know that that really happens you know oh yeah it's like it's a contract uh, marriage and you have three days to return her and you basically you take in a virgin actually the, 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 her back. The, the the three days is not a must you can have it even for two hours it's not this is like a, a statement about the date. the important is that you set up the date and the time uh, predated which mean if you say 15 minutes 15 minutes if you say two hours two hours if you say uh, two weeks it's two weeks that's it you know yeah, you know, for me, I never understood that, and it was very difficult because I remember one of uh, one of the times, you know, I was asking my friend, just imagine if somebody takes your sister. I mean, I don't have sisters, yeah, so mm -hmm. that's why I can't really think about it. So my friend, he does, but I asked him, told him, what if someone comes for your sister and you know just wants to have her for like two nights? I mean, what do you think about that? You know? Well, this is obviously and, it's, it's prostitution. You know, it's prostitution, but undercover. It's actually legalized religious prostitution. That's what I would like to term it as. Yeah, it's a prostitution, but um, he made it legal. Uh, uh, God allows it. Religion. Uh, yeah, but in fact, it's prostitution. Yeah. Well, as you see, Islam, you know, Islam is just a cult. And uh, as the Messiah, he said, from their fruits, you shall know them. And for me, I don't reject Muhammad because his name is Muhammad. Even though the name is an insult to God because he called himself the praised one But I reject him and reject his teaching because from the fruits you shall know them There's many people they speak good, but they do bad Muhammad never spoke good and never do good He is evil in both way. So he is 100% a devil man well, I agree with you. All right Any, Anyways, uh, CP, I'll let you go and thank you so much for this conversation Thank and uh, please make sure that you you still have those you know I, I like humor a lot so I like your mono acting as you know a couple of different personalities and it's fun especially yeah. when you imitate Z uh, Dr. Zakir Naik it's, it's funny <laughs> all right my friend thank, <laughs> thank you, you very, very much, much. you and enjoy your evening glad yeah. you enjoy what you're watching thank you very much take care God bless you Good. take care Good. you know I cannot change myself I am I'm not being funny I this is how I am I'm not being fun. This is how I am. Trust me. <laughs> and actually, you know, the Lord, the Lord make me more happy uh, every day. Uh, Sometimes I ask myself, like, you know, here we go. I make a phone call to Zachary. 
and did I prepare the words honest to God I never prepare anything to say it's come by itself how, how I don't know don't ask me it, it sounds weird right like okay I make a phone call and then the word the answer all of the all of it it's come right away in the spot and all of you 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 you, 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 you know you love but I believe that the Lord he chose his men to deliver a message and he empowered them I'm not saying I'm not a sinner you know I I'm like everybody here maybe you guys are better than me but I believe that the Lord he chose me to do what I am doing and I believe that I can do it because of him not because of me otherwise you know if you go back and I, I used to do the live chat for 12 hours 13 hours 16 hours once I open my chat with this is in Palto, I open Friday afternoon I went to I went to work Monday without closing the chat room you believe it from Friday afternoon to Saturday in the morning non-stop if you do what I do for two hours you will lose your voice but always I feel happy I feel so excited especially when I hear the voice of those who leave Islam and they accepted the Messiah so this is a very happy mission it come with a lot of pain in the same time but there is a sometimes there's something called a beautiful pain a pain will make you a worth of existence a pain will make you uh, feel different uh, so uh, pain for us as a Christians is not a curse the Lord he says that you're a blessed because they curse you it's a blessing for us we receive death a threat we receive etc we will kill you we will find you it doesn't doesn't even move a, 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 a hair in, 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 in my in, in, in my body you you curse me you you know you pray for my death you want to kill me do your wish and let your God grant you your wish if he can um okay mm. okay uh, say that he does not have anyone to talk about okay yeah somebody is saying if if you like to add him he is he is, will be happy to be your friend don't worry my friend he will he will find uh, there's many people they will be happy to talk to him and he will find his friends who are uh, Christians they can be uh, a good friends for him uh, don't worry about that the Lord he sent the good ones in our way um, let us see I am a Christian I have a quick important question okay let's see what this gentleman want to say I hope it's important I can't see my keyboard now you believe it let me turn the light on oh I forgot I should use the light of the of the messenger when the prophet his mother she gave birth to him a light came out from her vagina reached all the way the palaces of damascus true story i wonder why the light is not coming here now i mean this is a nuclear vagina dangerous I, I, i'm so happy actually i'm not married imagine your wife she get married and your wife she take off her panty and then what happened you go blind a light come from there i like what the what we should do should we will like we are wielding a mask in, in this case it's very dangerous my friend you didn't know what you what you are going to, to to find out in the bedroom the prophet mother a light come from her vagina when she gave birth to Muhammad reach all the way to the palaces of Damascus that might be a true true story I mean it must be historian they wrote this story historian must be true but me myself 
I will never go in the bedroom unless I am wearing a welding mask. What if she is a Middle Eastern like me and she is inheriting this from the mother of Muhammad? Very dangerous. I don't want to go blind. Like you go inside the bedroom to have, a, you know, to have a, make love to your wife and we're like, what happened? He lost his eyesight. Why? Uh, sorry. Uh, I took off the panty. That's very dangerous. This is why we men, we suffer a lot. You see, women, yesterday I told you the story, the Islamic story about Balqis, how she killed the king by her shoe. I mean, do you see how we men, we suffer? A man, he lost his head because of a woman's shoe. The other man, he lost his eyesight because of a vagina. The light is coming there. It was so crazy. I mean, why in the world do you want to get married? It's dangerous. I want to go safari better than getting married. Hadith? Go to Google right now and search. Well, why you want to depend all was on me? Come on, come on. I just told you the story. Search right now. A light, the Muslim they translated as the following. They say a light came out of the uh, of the of the mother of the prophet. A, came out of the mother of the prophet, but they don't tell you in the translation from where. A light came out of her. I'll show you the reference. Hold on. How long you ask for it? Oh boy. All right, here we go. وأخرج أبو نعيم عن عطاء ابن يسار عن أم سلمة عن آمنة قالت لقد رأيت ليلة وضعته نورا أضاءت له قصور الشام حتى رأيتها وأخرج أيضا عن بريدة عن مرضيعته في بني سعد أن آمنة قالت أو translate for you hold on. Let us highlight. كأنه خرج من فرج شهاب أضاءت له الأرض حتى رأيت قصور الشام. Translation. And I saw a meteor of light come from my vagina. This is the mother of Muhammad saying that. Lighting the whole earth. And I saw the palaces of Damascus. Different hadith from him, Hammam, from 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 uh, from the mother of the Prophet. She said, "لما ولدته خرج من فرج ولد ولدته خرج من فرجي نور أضاء له قصور الشام. فولدته فولدته نظيفا ما به قدر رواه ابن سعد. When I gave birth to him, a light came from my vagina." Lighting the palaces of Damascus or the, the, the whole sham, which means Syria. And I gave birth to him, and he was so clean and have no dirt on him. Reported by Abni Ibn Abi Sa'd. Hmm? And they say here, and they mention this in a poetry by Al Abbas ibn Abdul Muttalib. He says, فنحن في ذلك الضياء والنور وسبل الرشاد نخترق. So they are making a poetry about the vagina of Muhammad mother. All right. Now the reference here, and I show the first of all, this is page number one eighty two. Page number eighty one eighty two. And let us show you the the cover of the book. Here we go. المواهب الدنيا بالمنح المحمدية العلامة أحمد بن محمد القطلاني Volume Number One 
the Islamic Library printed in Beirut uh, I see the date here this is Hijra uh, here you see like uh, more details about the book all right now for sure this is mentioned in many many reference not only once or twice I mean all those books as you see al uh, al Shamila al al Kubra. I'm trying to open the page. It's taking time. And obviously, this is a true story, brother. Anyway. And, you know, like, uh, obviously, there is some kind of uh, vagina. They are special. And it would be fun if we can have the mother of Muhammad to generate electricity for us these days. Uh, he showed that women are not allowed to sit in a chair because of Satan. Can you show us why? No, not, it's, you know, I, I don't know what uh, somebody's asking me about Father Zakaria. He is a Coptic priest. He have a program uh, exposing Islam too. He's a very good man. That he showed that women are not allowed to sit in a chair because of shaitan. I don't think he said that. I don't. I never saw what you are talking about. But as I know, that a Muslim woman she cannot sit on a chair for a very simple reason. Uh, the chair, in Arabic, is the word kursi. And kursi is a male word. So if you allow your wife to sit in a kursi, which is a chair, which is a male word, that will make her sitting in the lap of a man. And this is a clear sign of the intelligence of the Abdul. So a Muslim woman, she cannot sit in a chair. All right? And very, that is very convincing. I mean, imagine your, your wife, she is sitting in a chair, man, and the chair is a, is a male word. I mean, <laughs> no way. I will not allow that. You know, um, no way. I mean, we are very conservative people. We allow our wife to give her boobs to a stranger, but she cannot sit in a chair because the word chair is a meal in Arabic. Very conservative. Hmm? Um, if I quote for you the, the, the chain of the fatwas you see in the Islamic world, you will not believe it. You see, the guy who was meeting today, the head of the Islamic uh, religion, who is, uh, uh, we showed you in the news in Dubai today, he is the one who made a fatwa that it is halal to get a blessing from the poopoo of the Prophet. The same guy, he made a fatwa. Shaykh al Azhar. Let me see if I can find it in English. I can find the fatwa in Arabic, but we need to find it in English. Let us see this one. Okay, this is a website that's called Ahl al Quran. This is a, an original uh, published in the year 2003 and 2010. I get the following message from uh, okay, and this is from a newspaper in Egypt. It's called Al Yomus Sabi, which means the, the seventh day. Uh, it says. Uh, 
my, my respond I want to see where is the fatwa because let us see here here we go so always we discover etc okay okay and then you know he says such as a breastfeeding and the elder and uh, uh, and the blessing of the prophet urine so they are discussing this fatwa about the blessing of uh, you you can get from the prophet urine and for sure the prophet urine is blessed now my friend i mean put yourself in the in the urine of the prophet if you are a muslim i mean how blessed you will be to be from the prophet urine hmm? You see if you drink the prophet urine you are going to be blessed this is the same mufti we saw in TV in Dubai today he is uh, uh, he is uh, welcoming the Christian leaders supposedly they call themselves Christian leaders to Dubai he is the same one he said that if you will be blessed if you can drink the Prophet urine. And by the way, I mean, what the point of this fatwa? I mean, where, where we can find the the Prophet urine now? Is he still urinating? <laughs> I don't know. Sometimes I find that a human being is a very funny creature, and he is beyond stupidity. What the point of this? I mean, I can say that this guy is saying this in the time of Muhammad. Okay, no problem. But Muhammad is dead, and do you have his urine? Anyway, garbage in, garbage out. What you expect? Garbage out, garbage in, garbage in, garbage out. All right. <clears throat> All right. Anyway, guys, I want to say thank you for being here. We are we have enough for today. Did we have a good time? Don't forget, please, to give a like if you like what we do. And if you don't like, don't give a like. And if you like and you don't like in the same time, we have a solution. You can give a like and take it down. <laughs> and if you are a Muslim, you can give us a like and unlike because Allah will double your reward if you dislike and he will take only one credit from you if you like which means you will win if you like and unlike so you will win win so do it all right and if a muslim he think that islam is really a religion which or can be considered as a religion i challenge the muslims all those who call me today yesterday before and tomorrow to download their call to me and post it or paste it in their youtube if you are proud about it if you are really proud if because most of them they, they say oh we debated the Christian Prince none of you can debate me and I don't I don't debate Muslims I don't I never debated one because simply none of you Muslims have answers debate have to be done between someone who knows and someone who knows you know nothing even your prophet cannot debate even your God he cannot for he does not exist so I encourage everybody to download my videos, share them around. And I hope tomorrow I will be able to be on air. If I can, subscribe and you will be notified. And don't forget to subscribe to other my other pages like Minds.com and uh, Facebook and Twitter because I post always, even Instagram, I always post before I go live. So you will be notified, uh, depend on the program you use. And I will see you soon again. Well, Lord, may bless you, and don't forget to pray to the brothers who call us today. We have two who they became Christians, they accepted the Messiah, and they left Islam. Pray for them, pray for their family, and pray for their support. And may the Lord bless you all. And I will see you soon again. Christ is Lord, Islam is false. And see you. <laughs>